Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining me this time is Joint Assistant Manager Chris Rawlinson. Chris, 2-1 against Bamber Bridge today. What's your thoughts? Um, really pleased to get another victory. Um, it keeps the run going. Uh, that's three league wins in a row. Nine unbeaten. Um, starting to catch teams above us. Well, element of, you know, not luck's the wrong word, but element of, you know, probably got out of jail and, and especially second half or towards the end of the game. But uh, we won it first half with a really good performance, to be honest. Bamber Bridge are one of the few sides I've seen to come down here this season that have tried to max, uh, match Matlock physically. They've got very enough faces, they've closed us down early doors. Is that something that you were aware of ahead of time you were going to expect? Or did the lads? was that something you had to talk to the lads about half-time? No, we were aware that, that that's probably what they were going to do, that they'd be quite physical, but had some obvious quality in, in the wide areas and the way they play, we thought may cause us a couple of issues, but um, it's the same when you're 2-0 up at half-time, missed a couple of really good chances to go 3-0 up, they get a goal back and, and it always gives the team that gets a goal, a goal back in a 2-0, 2-1 impetus to throw the kitchen sink at it, you know, and, and we held out hell firm. I've, I've said to, uh, to a few people now, five, six weeks ago, a Matlock Townside loses that game or they draw that game. What is the difference maker now? What's the driving force behind the lads to keep... Win winning and not losing games breeds confidence and you, it breeds the ability to see games out where before maybe you wouldn't. You know, it's, it, it's simple. Football's a, a game of... A lot of it's mental and a lot of it's about the run you're on, the form you're on and making sure you do things right. Plus, as well, we are a very different team probably than even when we first took over. Let's talk about Craig King really briefly. He's picked up a pair of the month for October today and he's had another a fantastic performance, a goal and an assist. Does it make life so much easier when you've got a player who just isn't afraid to take on players like him? Craig's a, a massive threat at this level. Um, which is why the gaffer, you know, works so hard to get him in. Um, and, and yes, I, I totally agree to have Craig on, on one wing. But you know, equally on the other wing, we're a threat down that side as well. So yeah, but Craig is sort of the cherry on the cherry on the cake, if you like. As well, Nathan Whitehead bagging a goal, which I'd say myself has richly deserved. He's worked very hard. I know a lot of people were um in and ah when he joined after his first spell here, but it, it must. For him, it must have been a big moment. Do you feel you've got a, a player in Nathan Whitehead you can trust? Well, myself, the gaffer and Terry definitely can trust him. We've worked with him for three or four years now, which is the reason he's back here. We know he's got that in the locker. Um, he's fully aware of, you know, at this level, what he needs to prove on, but I think he's very effective uh, in, in what he does in, in himself and Hollingsworth, and with Taylor and Vince and Williams. We've got great options in central midfield. It's beginning to get to the point now where you're beginning to get back to what would be a full-strength squad. Is it difficult going forward? Are you going to have headaches? Who's going to play where? Or, or are all the spots up for grabs given on training performances? There's, there's no, one no one really guaranteed to start. Um, it's all about form. It's all about performance. It's all about um, result on Saturday, and also there has to be an element of picking particular teams to win particular games. Tactically, we'll come into it as well. But no, it's it's a great problem to have. To be honest with you, I'd rather have too many quality players than not enough. A few people today, prior to kick off, um, questioned the selection of Cleveland Taylor at left back. But I think. Throughout the game, he proved what an asset he is there, particularly winning a lot of the balls. Is that something you're aware of and why Cleveland was put there? Cleveland um, has played fullback, played fullback most of last year, this level, I believe. Um, it was a really difficult decision when, when Brad was suspended, Tom Davies still injured. Um, it was a really tough, tough one to decide what we did. Um, that's the way the, the gaffer went to bring Nathan and move Cleveland there and we've won the game so you know it, it's kind of worked out well in the, at the end but, but Cleve can do a great job for us in a multitude of positions So another game down, 9 unbeaten in the league now looking forward we've got a, a free midweek coming up, what 
is, is the plan for the lads this week? Is it training as normal or will they be given a bit of time off? They're going to have a bit of a rest on, on Tuesday night. We've gone Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for weeks now. So we've got a few weary legs. So the lads that have played or are fully fit and played all the games are going to have Tuesday off. The lads that need some work or are coming back to fitness will be in. Then we'll get together on Thursday night and train uh, to, plot, to beat Staley Bridge on Saturday or, or get a result down here again. Do you, as management, take perhaps this evening and Sunday to enjoy the result and then move on to focus on Staley Bridge or is it already at the forefront of your mind? I think it's at the forefront of our mind, yeah, of course, you know, we'll enjoy tonight, enjoy probably the day with the family tomorrow, um, but in the back of your mind you're already thinking about the next game uh, and how we keep this run going because, you know, I'm not going to say, but we're, you know, we're in the mix to, to remain in the top half of the table now. Um, we, have to, we have to kick on now. What's gone before is brilliant, but how do we maintain this form? Um, to finish off with one final question given the lights have gone out so I'm guessing they want me to go home um, how pleased are you with how the fans have been in the past few weeks there seems to be a real noise picking up in the stands it's fantastic I mean that that was our first win on Saturday since we've been at the club um, the, the, the crowd are f- fully behind us um, can see what we're trying to do and to be honest with you when boys work as hard as the boys have done over all the home games it's easy for the supporters to get behind them. All they want is people to put good shift in and hopefully quality comes out on top. So just a big word of thanks. They've been brilliant for us and, and long may it continue and hopefully get a really, really good crowd down here against another team in the top half of the table next Saturday. Right, thank you very much, Chris Rawlinson. No problem, thank you.